we're going to be putting belts on the y-axis now so i'm going to do one video per side here so if you get it by this video you can actually skip the next video okay so we got a stepper motor here right mounts into this thing into this bracket right here <clears throat> and then we have a gt2 20 tooth five millimeter bore uh sprocket <laughs> to install on that then we have the belt bracket here okay belt bracket installs into here and i guess it's uh this is the actual belt bracket. Oh, I guess it's a belt clamp. The metal piece is a belt clamp. Holds the belt to this piece, which installs into this part, which pulls the gantry back and forth. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is install the separate motor. I'm going to install it with the wires facing the back side of the machine because that's sort of where they belong, sort of where they go. Okay. So I'm going to use M10 with a washer, or sorry, M3 by 10 with a washer here. Okay. Okay, got all four of these in there. Now I'm going to torque them in, torque them down. All right. And then I'm going to put my idler pulley over here. I'm going to use an M5 by 20, I think. And then a uh, M5 slide in. Okay, so I'm taking my M5 by 20, putting the idler pulley on, okay. Oh, that is an M5 by 16. Probably fine though, <laughs> probably close enough. But then I'm putting the, uh, the M5 slot nut on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide it on in here. Okay, I'm going to push this over, imagining there's that bracket on, and then I'll tighten this up. If you don't get this perfectly straight, you can straighten it out later. It's not, like, super important you get it straight right now. It'll be really obvious once we get the belt clamp on and the belt, and then you can just slide it over a little bit. But I do need a stubby angle to get in there. There we go. I put it on there just a little bit, like not super tight. I know I'm like digging into the aluminum, so I don't want to get it super tight. Don't want to dent the aluminum right there. So if it needs a tiny adjustment, it's going to fall back into the dent. <laughs> so just a little little loose there. Okay. 
Next thing I'm going to do is measure how much belt I need. Oh, no. First, I'm going to put the the idler pulley on, or the, the sprocket. Sprocket on. Okay, gears down. And uh, just a little bit above the top of it. We don't want it scraping the bottom of the stepper motor here. So I'm going to pull it up just a little bit. Oh, and I got to put it on the D shaft here. So this, my stepper motors have a D shaft. The shaft isn't perfectly rounded. It has a flat side on it. So I'm going to put the first pinion or the grub screw on that D shaft. And then tighten down that second one. Make sure these are good and tight. All right. Now I'm going to measure my belt length. Actually, first I'm going to loosen the stepper motor bracket here. Okay. And now this can slide forward. See that? I'm going to slide it all the way forward here. And then take my belt, my belt spaghetti mess <laughs> that you saw from the other video, and wrap it around everything and figure out where it needs to be cut. So they met about right here. That's where I'm going to cut it. I'm going to get a, bit, a little bit of extra, but not much extra on this one. And that's because there's not as much wiggle room on the y-axis. So if I mess this up, I'm going to have to cut some and reclamp it. Not a big deal. Just It's nicer when you just do it right the first time. All right, so now I got my belt. Now I'm gonna put my clamp together here, okay? So, M4 by 16, okay? Onto the little 3D printed bracket. You should have two of these. And make sure you go in the right direction here, okay? So the back side has these hexagon slots for screws. Okay, those are gonna go on bottom, okay? Like, don't flip it. So it's like this with the hexagon screw holes up top. Make sure those are on bottom. So that means that the belt clamp comes over here with that hexagon on the back side. Okay. And then I'm going to preload this. Uh... Oh, that's an M3. <laughs> Here's an M4. Okay. Put the M4 in to that slot there, that hex slot. There we go. Slightly tighten it onto that, right? Just enough room to get my belt in. So, here I'll be putting my belt in here. So, with one extra tooth on the inside. Keeping it perfectly straight, I'm going to put the other side in. And then I'm going to look from the top, make sure the belts are centered on here, like not to the side, like that one is. So the top one there is sort of too high. Okay, now it's evenly and even and centered. <coughs> So I'll tighten this clamp up. All right. Okay. We're going to wrap it around things.
Now that's a pretty tight fit, but I'm gonna sort of force it on here, maybe. I cut it a little short, but that's all right. So instead of giving it that extra tooth on the belt, I'm gonna pull it to that tooth. So pull the belt out a little on each side. Guess I need to loosen this a little more. All right, got that on there again. Tighten the clamp down. See, so make sure everything's straight before I get it fully tight. That looks good. Try this again. Oh, I just realized that I installed this upside down because I got the hexagon on top. So here I go again, loosen this up. Can I just flip it? Oh, <laughs> I can just flip it. My goodness. I put it right. I didn't even think about. <laughs> you can just flip it. How silly of me. Okay. See, it's around the idler. There we go. Now it captures this. Cool. So, I'm going to pull it from the inside back. So, my fingers are closer to the inside, like next to the rail here, as I tighten it. Okay. So, pull it tight. Like pretty good and tight. Tighten this one a little bit. And then I'm going to take my other finger and straighten it out. And then pull that tight. And there we go. And then tighten up that first one. And my bracket isn't like perfectly straight, but that's all right. As long as it's straight within this linear area here. Okay. So now, I need to attach this bracket here, this bracket, to the, the belt bracket here, this guy. So I'm going to use some M3 by 16 screws and washers. And then nuts from the other side. There we go, that's straight. <laughs> a little hard to see when you're doing a blind. Okay, that's pulled up in there. And then the other nut.
Maybe not. I'm going to check my nut. Yeah, nut looks fine. I'm just... Oh, maybe. No, nut's got a little dent in it. Okay. <laughs> maybe this nut isn't so great. Let's try a different... Let's try a different nut here. Oh yeah, that one just grabs right away. Okay. All right. And so there's the belt. Cool. I want to lift this idler up. There we go. That's looking pretty good, actually. The idler could move out a little bit, but I don't know if I'm concerned about it. <laughs> to do that, though, if you really want, you're going to have to loosen your stepper motor bracket here. Okay? And then... Loosen this guy, move it over a little bit, and then retighten this thing. Retighten the stepper motor bracket. And that's how you straighten this guy out. But I like this. This is pretty good here. All right, so that's the end of this video. The next video will be the exact same thing, just the other side. So it'll be a slightly different angle in case you're having an issue. I guess I can bring the camera in closer for a second. Or maybe I'll uh, I'll lift it up here. <laughs> Show you what's going on here. Okay, so I installed the stepper motor. And then I installed the idler pulley here. I put the GT2 uh, 20 tooth 5 millimeter bore sprocket on this thing. Tighten it up well. Okay, wrap the belt around everything. Wrap the belt around the idler pulley. And then the tooth uh, sprocket here. And then I measured it. I clipped it about where they met. And I clamped it onto here. I messed that up. <laughs> I showed you how to fix that. And then once that was on there, I pulled the inside of this right tight and tightened up this screw right here. And then I pulled tight on this while tightening this screw here. So then I got some tension here. Has a little bit of that ting sound to it tiny bit don't want too much don't want a high pitch thing that means it's way too tight but yeah did that and then i mounted that little 3d printed piece to here so now this separate motor when i turn it moves the gantry very smooth all right we're gonna do this one more time on the other side thanks for watching